Lindsay here with Truthitude, and I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about something that has been bothering me, and I'm sure it's been bothering many of you. Right now, we are all adjusting day by day, adapting. It's what we do, and I'm finding that I'm having really annoyed and irritated reactions to a lot of the positivity that is being kind of crammed down everybody's throats right now and I think the reason for that is that it's almost a denial of the fact that this is a shitty situation and I'm a positive person. I believe that positivity can get you through anything but I also don't deny that negative emotions exist. They're necessary in fact and Specifically, I'm talking about the hustle shaming, as I'm calling it, the productivity shaming that you should do the most with this time and this could be the best year of your life and take this time to be dedicated because you don't have the distractions and, you know, especially if you don't have kids and especially if you're single and especially if you're not out there working, that you need to make the most of this time. We've all seen some variation of that, version of that, and the thing is, Shame and blame are never productive, but especially in a time of crisis, nobody knows what somebody's situation is through and through. To all of those people out there that are encouraging people to try to make the best of the situation, I love that. Don't get me wrong. I love encouragement. What I'm not loving is this almost apathetic, resistance to acknowledge what's actually happening. It's almost like we're being asked to not be human. And every emotion is normal. I want you to consider this. If you're someone who's typically happy, I have a friend of mine who is the most joyous person in the world and she's experiencing a really hard time. She has been for about a year and a half now and she's not used to experiencing sadness or anger or anxiety. Those are unfamiliar emotions to her and I've encouraged her to acknowledge them because they're all part of this palette of emotions that you have. Sadness is equally as valuable as anger, as happiness, as joy, as fear. These are all valuable emotions and to try to strong arm yourself to avoid one and only feel another is never going to serve you. And for all of these productivity shamers out there, I feel like they're resisting their ability to be human and they're not acknowledging that sadness is okay, anger is okay, fear is okay, joy is okay, it's wonderful. But you have to be able to feel the intensity of each emotion to truly become an emotionally intelligent person. Honestly, with this situation that's happening right now, none of us know the right way to do it. So I encourage you to feel whatever emotion comes to you in that moment. Acknowledge it. Surrender to it. And surrender doesn't mean giving up. It just means accepting it, acknowledging it, and moving on with it. When you relinquish the control that so many of us are used to having, it's unfamiliar. I know I like to control things, and I think that right now the situation is so far out of our control, and there are little things that we can control, but we can't control them every moment of every day. And that's the same with your emotions and your motivation and your level of energy and ambition. You cannot control, especially in this circumstance, every emotion that comes in every second of every day. So I just encourage you to lean into those emotions. Do the best that you can in the moment that's there. Be present. And I think what this is forcing us to do is to remember that we're human and that it's okay to not have a productive day. It's okay to sit and cry. It's okay to be mad. It's okay to feel your suffering as the most important suffering. And on that note, there are a lot of people right now that are shaming each other for not 
having it as bad as others. And from somebody who has overcome a significant amount of trauma, I hear this all the time and it, and it frustrates me and it saddens me when people tell me, wow, you know, I didn't have it as bad as you, but blah, blah, blah. And I always tell them that your tragedies are tragic to you. And Brene Brown says it beautifully in her book, Daring Greatly, this notion of comparative suffering doesn't serve anybody. I had different experiences than a lot of people. Your experiences are different and your tragedies and your traumas are tragic to you and that's okay. You don't have to have it as bad as I did to feel suffering and pain and sadness. I think what everybody needs right now is just to step back and acknowledge the pain and the feelings and the stress within their own lives and also be willing to acknowledge the pain and the stress and the suffering of other people's lives. Don't judge it. Don't place a value on it. Just acknowledge that it's there. And collectively as a community, acknowledge that there's pain. Acknowledge that there's uncertainty. Acknowledge that there are moments of joy through this and there are moments of anger through this and there are moments of sadness and frustration through this. Acknowledge all of those things. So I say all of this to just encourage you to acknowledge your humanity and to give yourself grace and to acknowledge the humanity of others. That's all. We're just doing the best that we can in every moment that we can. And sometimes that best looks really shitty and that's okay. And I think it's worth saying because a lot of people are not wanting to say it. This really fucking sucks. Say it several times throughout the day. This fucking sucks. It does. But this will not be the most painful moment in your life. It can be the most painful moment in your life today. Allow it to be. But I promise you, we will get through this in an unknown way. And we will be transformed by it. But acknowledge your humanity. Acknowledge the humanity of others. And just allow yourself to be present in whatever that means for you. I say this with love and I say this with light. I acknowledge you. I hear you. I feel you. I see you. And I love you. Stay well and stay true to your truthitude.